The first and last name? Should I? The first and last name? Okay, if he's out there listening, Jay Sharondoff. He was my friend Debbie's older brother, and we uh, were in a closet. I think it was like a game that we were playing, you know, like Seven Seconds in Heaven or something. I don't know, whatever it was. Yeah, that was the name of the person. Oh, it was good. <laughs> Duh. Well, I, I can't, I don't know if I really had a nickname in high school, but when I was growing up, when I was little, my sister used to call me Wormhole. I never had a middle name, and uh, I always used to ask, you know, her, why don't I have a middle name? What? She goes, you do too have a middle name, and it's Wormhole. So that's what she said my name was, Wormhole Becker. I'm doing it. I always do it. It's like perpetually there. This is it. My red carpet smile. <laughs> Countless. Absolute. And I never know. Sometimes I may only have five or six. Sometimes I might have 12. Sometimes I only have about three or four. I never have less than three or four. The democratization of fashion, I think, is the most exciting fashion development. Uh, yeah, I think uh, fashion uh, used to be, you know, for the snobs, and now it's for everyone. Or we've all turned into snobs. I don't, I'm not really quite sure. There are so many delightful fashion icons. But if I was hard pressed, I'd have to say Jean-Paul Gaultier because he is very much in touch with his inner child and uh, he's just this happy-go-lucky guy that uh, always makes me smile. You know, I think probably just about everything. I think fashion rules are meant to be broken. I hate fashion do's and don'ts and I don't think anyone should do anything all the time. And I, you know, if they say you should not do it, then maybe you should do it. So I, you know, that's just one that goes right over my head. The best thing about having your own fashion line is that you can wear all the samples, or at least I get to. Uh, and it's it's great because these are clothes that I would want in my own life. That's why I edited them, and that's why I picked them to be in the fashion line. The worst thing about having your own fashion line is that there's so many things that I would want to put into my fashion line and I can't because we're limited by you know what we can realistically uh, do. The must attend fashion event of the year is your very own birthday party and even if it's a party for one you should always be there for it because you should celebrate yourself and hey you could even get to wear your birthday suit. The book on my bedside table right now is Hijacking the Runway by Terry Eggins, and it's all about how celebrities stole the limelight from designers. I, I, you know, I don't think that there's any, you know, one trend direction that's right or wrong. It's just, it's just a whole mishmash of stuff, and that's the way I'd like to see the world rather than, you know, define things according to trends. Ah. Oh. Let's talk about something I don't do that embarrasses my kids because, I, I mean, I do, I, I think I'm like the coolest mom. Wouldn't you like to have me as a mom? What my kids do, um, uh, both my daughters do, that makes me uber proud is that they march to the beat of their own drummers. They are true originals. They blaze their own trails. They're fearless, uh, they're tenacious, and they're wildly creative. My daughter Joey O'Neill is a great singer-songwriter, and my daughter Becky O'Neill is a wonderful uh, animator and a wonderful illustrator. Both of them truly wonderful artists that inspire me every day in every way. Ah! Oh, how could I? Can I possibly tell you that these guys have been there for me in so many ways? And I, a, a special shout out to Chris, who scraped me off the floor uh, when my marriage broke up and uh, came over in a baseball cap and sweat suit from the gym with a big box of pizza, like every night of the week, I think, and talked me out of uh, 
going on with my life and um, living for my girls and just not giving up. So, uh, you know, I, I, I really, I, I love them both to pieces.